Hello, I am going to be attempting to install a set of Ghost Piezo pickups into a Godin radiator guitar because I couldn't find very much information anywhere else on how to do this. I'm going to video it, see if it helps anyone else. So, I have started taking the strings, slacking them off, and now I'm going to remove the strings and remove the top of the radiator. Okay, you can see I have the strings off. And the neat thing about the radiator is this whole solid top comes off. So next I'm gonna try taking off the bridge and removing the top. Okay, I have the screws out, and there's a lot of them. And what I remember from other videos is I think you also have to take the bridge off before you can get the top off. That's what I'm gonna try next. So, bridge is now off. And the neat thing about the radiator is all the other parts are attached to the top so I think I should be able to somehow slide this off attempting that next of course to slide it off I had to countersink the pickups to below the level of the faceplate so I've done that with the screws beside each pickup now to see if this works progress update after loosening the back of the neck and sinking the pickups, which I realized I didn't need to do, I realized I had to take off the little radiator badge that sat right there. Don't know if you can see the holes. Anyway, I took that off and now I believe this will slide off fairly freely. Maybe not. Success. Okay, so for the record, I did not have to countersink the pickups. And I probably didn't also have to loosen the neck. I had to take off the radiator badge. But you can see the inside of the radiator, which is why I thought it would make such a cool um, guitar to put piezos in, is it's cut away. Except for the bridge section. I'm trying to get that glare out of there. And the pickup section's all cut away. It's easy to work in, easy to add stuff, take stuff out of. Here's the back of the pickups. And the bridge where I'm going to install the piezos. So if this video accomplishes nothing else, at least you see the inside of a Godan radiator. And uh, I am now going to tighten the neck back up. And I am going to start to figure out how to wire up the piezo pickups. So here's the Ghost Tech Graft, Graft Tech Ghost Piezo system that I'm gonna put on the bridge. And what I, of course, I'm gonna to have to do is take these wires and run them into the body. So what I'm gonna to attempt to do is screw drill holes along here so that I can run the piezo wires this is still in the package that you can see under the package here into the body. I think that's going to be the most efficient way to do it. I'm just going to run them right from the bridge right into holes that I'm going to drill right at the edge of this pick guard. So wish me luck. Okay, another update. I had decided that I was going to take all the hardware off the back of the radiator faceplate in order to drill the holes. However, true to Godin's attention to detail, these knobs are not merely just held in by bolts. They're actually screwed into the faceplate, which means I have to unscrew them, which would mean I have to unsolder them. 
So I am going to leave the hardware attached to the faceplate, except for the pickup, obviously, because I've got to drill the holes here. That's the other side. But I am going to unsolder the jack since I am replacing the normal standard quarter inch jack with a stereo jack because that's how I'm going to run the piezo from into the tip and ring sleeve of the quarter inch jack when I get there. Another quick update. This is the end that used to attach to the tone pot. I was going to unsolder it. I just cut it. This is the ground end that used to run to one of the pickups came apart when I was taking out. So now I can remove this section entirely and drill those holes. I decided that I would put the Graftex onto the bridge before I started drilling so that I could check this wiring spacings. And I've noticed that the piezos on this bridge don't correspond to the one that goes this way on that bridge. I'm wondering if I can flip them around. They are individually set up. I might call Graftech about this. Okay, partway through, and what I'm realizing, I just realized, is that Graftech actually gave me longer screws. Six longer screws, which I think means are the ones I should be using in order to make sure that these land in the same place as those ones. So if you have longer screws in the package that you get and they match the saddles that you are taking off, use the longer screws so you don't have to go back and redo it like I'm going to do. Okay, you can see here I've replaced this one with a longer screw. Um, I'm gonna go back and do the other ones. I'm not sure if it actually is gonna make a difference. I guess it seems to make sense. Uh, hopefully I saved you the trouble of that step. Right, okay. Other than the halfway mistake of maybe using shorter screws, and not sure if the saddles are need to be switched around. You can see I've got the Graftech Ghost piezos installed on the bridge now. There's my old bridge saddles. For those of you wondering, I used a small screwdriver. It's actually pretty straightforward, a little bit finicky, but uh, worked out okay. So on to the next step. Okay, so I am installing these Graftech Ghost pickups without the acoustic processor i think it's acoustamax it's called that you can buy for it i'm just doing the basic wiring and seeing if that will work and what kind of signal and tone it'll give me um so here's the package i'm gonna have to replace the uh output jack with the stereo output jack which you came uh which comes in this package this is the 40 dollar basic installation package um, you can get the more expensive one, but I decided with the battery, but I decided I'm going to just do this. The more expensive package would be easier to install in the radiator because there's so much room in it. But to change the battery might be a pain in the butt having to take the top off. Anyway, that's what I'm going to try to do next, um, including wiring and soldering. So that might be an adventure. Back in a bit. Okay, here is the wiring I am attempting to use, the wiring process. This is from Graftech's uh, installation manual. I'm using the passive volume kit. I'm not using the acoustic phonic or the hex suspender processor. And these are the parts that they recommend. So I have the summing board, which is this little part here, which will plug my wires in. Then I should have also a ground wire, which I do. I think that's going to be this potentially. I have this wire, which is my signal wire, which is that one. And then I have this is my tone jack, which I will then proceed to wire into this stereophonic plug. All right, here we go. So I'm putting the piezo volume in the tone 
pot space of the radiator, which is the last one. So I'm going to replace this, try and take this out. This is the back side. This is the current tone pot. Uh, and because, like as I said, Godin seems to have done a really good job of installing these. So they're hard to get out. I think I am going to cut the wires to the tone pot. I don't need them. And I'm just going to remove that tone pot because I think I have to unscrew it. There was a ground wire on that tone pot that I saved because I presume I'm going to need to ground wire the volume pot or there's all these electronics somehow. Not great electronics, so we'll see how this goes. What's really hard to understand from this diagram plugging in directly is what you're supposed to do to plug these piezo leads into the summing board. So what I've done is I have plugged them in, as you can see, running to, in order, ideally, to the right connection here. And now I think I'm going to have to take this and plug that into the board, which is kind of what this shows but doesn't say and then I guess I'm gonna to have to take that signal line and run it somehow to the volume pot. Not as clear as it could be graph tech. Okay you can see here I've tried to emulate that. There's my saddles, there's my wiring, there's my summing board. There's a cable coming out of the summing board, which I'm presuming could be ground or signal. When you look at this, where does the signal come from and where does the ground from? Oh, it's not really clear. Not really sure how to get a signal out of this. Based on this, we'll see. Okay, so after calling Graph Tech, which was super quick and easy, and I got right through to somebody in service, what I'm doing is taking the, I'm gonna cut the end of this so that I have two separate wires. The white one will be hot because I've lined up all the whites here in the same row, except for this middle one, which didn't have white, except on the cable. And black will be my ground. So. When it shows you this, that's actually one wire, and I'm gonna be splitting it at the end to wire one to ground, one into the volume pot. Again, wish me luck. Okay, here is the latest state of things. I have run the piezos through the pick guard for now, like this, and I have wired all the wires that I believe I'm supposed to need, including this one, which will then attach here as per the diagram. I have not yet wired them to the jack. That's the next step. This was an extremely, extremely finicky process. These wires are small, as you can see by the size of my thumb. You have to split them off run hot and ground, and then solder them together. This was not easy, but I think I've got it done. Now all I have to do is reconnect the magnetic pickups and connect the piezo pickups to the stereo jack. Wish me luck. I have now completed wiring from the summary to the pickup or the uh, volume pot from the volume pot to the jacks to the jack i don't know if i've actually gotten left enough wire for the jack to go in back into the body but uh we'll figure that out all i have left to do now is rewire the magnetic pickup and unfortunately for uh, advice you should remember where you cut those pickups off so you can remember how to wire them in which i didn't do so I'll be figuring that out next. Okay, one more update. As you can see, I've got a wire from the magnetic uh, volume pot that will run to the input jack. But the ground on this wire, which comes from the ground here, is not 
There's no spot for the ground on a tempering sleeve. Normally you might ground on the sleeve. This time the sleeve is occupied. So I'm gonna take this ground and I'm gonna run a ground from here to here. Apologies, my soldering is not the greatest. And see if that will help. And I'm gonna leave this ground wire bare. And when we come back, everything should be wired in. Well, all right, I think everything is wired. And although that's the ground, I don't think it's grounded on the other side or it's not wired in on the other side. So see if that works. I'm very worried about this wire not being long enough to reach to the jack side of the guitar. But now is the time I'm going to put it back in the body. I'm going to, before I get everything all set, show you where we're going here. Because now we've got the body, and there's the jack. Got all wiring down underneath. And I'm going to put that, this bridge, the bridge wires go through. I'm not going to leave them like that. I'm going to try and spread them out, but we'll see where we get to in the next round. Okay, well, I think you can see the issue here. This pickup is not going to be able to get raised up high enough because those wires are going to prevent it from doing so, like the other one. So, I will need to cut holes into the pickguard, the top little channels to allow those wires to run through. That may take a while. I'll be back later. Okay, I've marked notches for where I'm going to cut channels in the pick guard, and I'm going to try that next. Quick update. You can see I've carved the channels. They turned out okay, although they're not quite as even as I would like. But having them stay in there while I thread the other things through, try to get that pickup in place. It's very difficult using masking tape to try to hold them in place and then I'll try to get the pickup in there and remove the masking tape. It ain't easy. Okay, after much trial and error, we have the wires, I have a better light here, going into small channels that I've cut below the pickup so the pickup can now be successfully raised and hopefully hold them all in place. Whew. You can see I had to actually take the ends of the piezo out of the um, summary pot uh, in order to get them all wired through the channel. It's going to try and place them back in all on the same side. According to Graph Tech, they don't need to go in any specific order as long as they're all on the same positive and negative channel. So we'll test that theory. And somewhat of a minor miracle, I have got everything in place. I haven't screwed it in yet. I've got the jack in place. I've got the wires going through the holes. I've got the pickup high. These are probably still too high for them to go under strings. I might figure that out next, but I'm going to string it up and see what it, if it actually works. And for those wondering, pickup seems to be working. Pickup seems to be working. Pickups do not seem to be working. Final update. I put the top back on. I put strings on, I have the wires going under the pickups, and I have piezo volume up, this one, stereo plug in from the Y jack, I have piezo volume. jack splits it if I want to simply run the regular pickups and I'll show you they work. I have those still. I'll have to run those out. That was as I was planning to do a separate pickup. But I have it all as it was supposed as it 
was meant to be. So, hope that gives you some encouragement. It is doable. Do it yourself. Thanks for watching.